Hi, people! Oh my god, I look amazing. No, I'm just kidding. I really don't. Um, so it's been a, like, literally it's been like a 14-hour work day for me. It is 10.37. Let's just make sure we get this on video since nobody agrees that I work this many hours. 10.37 that says 37.10 backwards. Awesome! So anyways, it's been a very long day. Um, we've been a little short staffed since someone, I won't say who, but one of my main girls decided to take a stupid two day vacation. How dare you do that to me? But it's been a good couple days. I have some things to complain about and some things to catch you up on. But we're going to start with the most important thing. Let's start with the closet. Okay. This is so awesome. Awesome. Yes. Awesome? Yes, everything is on the ground. Could you imagine having like the best weekend ever and then coming home to all your shit being on the floor? Wouldn't that be so cool? And then having to move all your shit, you see? Because that's all my shit. Having to move all your shit. Hi, Michelle. I wish I should have caught you having to do this. Hi, babe. Um, oh, look, they got the piece for my closet. So anyways, I know. Wait, hold on. Because you guys aren't going to believe me until you see this shit. Having to move all your shit into the spare bedroom. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is the best thing that could have happened to me. It was so much fun to move all my shit and, like, you know, have my closet be into little tiny pieces. Now, you're talking to somebody. Okay, let's not forget this closet that I decided to fill as well but anyways let's not forget that I am like super super OCD so for something like that to happen to me is like super 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 horrible it's like horrendous okay <sighs> so anyways that was what I came home to um so <laughs> I have a lot of things to catch up to you guys because I haven't talked to you guys in a long time. So I figured I'd just catch you guys all up on one soapbox, right? So, Peter, I need you to be quiet on your little thing because I'm doing my soapbox, okay? Thank you. Be quiet. He likes to go online and talk to these people. Here we go again. Always interesting. Yeah, so, okay. I really do need to catch you guys up. All right, so we're going to start with the closet, which that's the least of my worries, to be totally honest with you. Um, okay, so we did have a good weekend. We went somewhere. I can't say where because apparently we like being stalked. So I can't say where we went, but it was great. I'm sure like the people that are my actual friends know exactly where we went. Um, but it was a good time. It was absolutely devastating, Michelle. Like super devastating. I didn't know when I got home when, because Pete didn't, Pete is John's dad. He didn't want to tell me that the closet, <laughs> that my entire closet fell on the floor while I was on you know, my little mini vacation because then I would have freaked out and I probably would have came home, to be honest with you, because it was only like an hour away from my house. So he decided to wait till we pulled up to the house and then tell John when he walked upstairs. And um, John's like, hey, I got something to tell you real quick before you go upstairs and you're going to be really upset. So, of course, I decided that, okay, let me go upstairs and see what happened because I thought it was going to be really bad. And, of course, it was absolutely devastating. So... Anyways, long story short, it was a good weekend that we had over at the place. I won't say where. Um, had a good old time. There was a couple different like little bumps in the road. The one thing I do want to bring up, and I have to bring this up because it's like actually like a pretty big deal, to be honest with you, is I don't know if you guys have heard of all this like chitter chatter about this like trafficking that they have going on, that it's real. Peter! I need you to be quiet. Thank you. So anyways, the trafficking that they have going on right now, and they're literally like picking people up out of like a Walmart, Target parking lots, buses, all this crazy, crazy shit. Okay. So I'm thinking like, okay, me being me, I'm thinking, I'm like, shoot, you know, I'm 30, whatever. We won't even say whatever, 30, whatever. Okay, I'm 30 whatever. Nobody's gonna want a 30 whatever person to be trafficked. I mean, who the hell wants a 30 whatever person? Apparently, it doesn't matter how old you are or you know what you look like. 
they are literally doing this shit and that is scary that is some scary shit now granted i will tell you guys i have my concealed and there's a reason i have my concealed we'll just leave it like that okay so i'm not scared to be in the public and do what i need to do okay but i will say that we we're at this one place and it reminded me of this trafficking deal is because there was this guy okay so apparently i didn't realize it until john said something but there was this guy that was in the pool it was looked like a hispanic guy or something and he was across the pool from us right so we're in the pool we're chilling having a good old time and there's this guy that's in a pool shades on he's got a little radio next to him at the pool whatever and he's across the pool so john like pointed out to me and was like what's up justin um he pointed out to me like hey this guy has been like staring at us for hours and you know usually i notice shit like that so i was kind of upset that i didn't notice it to be honest with you but anyways so we're across the pool right this is actually a really funny story but it's not funny but it's funny so anyways he's across the pool and this guy is like staring at us okay literally staring at us so in my position that i'm in now owning Thai medical center and we are fairly known to some degree I can't be a total bitch everywhere I go, right? Because some people are patients. And if they're not patients, some people want to be patients. And if they don't want to be patients, then they were a patient. So I can't be a bitch all the time because I am usually a bitch all the time. Usually, I, you can ask many people that have come across me. I usually give the eye roll. So anyways, we're sitting across the pool. This guy is staring at us across the pool. John points it out to me, and I'm like, okay. So let me keep an eye on this guy. So now I'm really like, this guy really is staring at us. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So long story short, the guy comes, like, the guy, like, floats over. And so John asked him, like, hey, do you, like, know us or something? Like, you've been, like, sitting across the pool. You don't have any family here. Like, do you have a room at this hotel? Like, what are you doing? The guy says he doesn't have a room. And he's like, oh, I'm from Brazil, and I'm going on a flight tomorrow. Not to say there's nothing wrong with Brazilian people. I love Brazilian people. But anyways, so he goes ahead and he, like, admits. He's like, yeah, no, I've been looking at you and your family from across the pool. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so then he goes to say, yeah, I see that you have a son. So, of course, Peter's playing in the pool. And, of course, now at this point, you don't even say, like, hey, I see your wife, or I see you, or I see anybody else. I see you have a son. Okay, so of course we're like, okay, so are you like looking at our son? Like, why are you looking at our son? What's going on? And now we're having like a little bit of a problem. So now I'm really digging this guy. And I'm like, all right, you know, why are you across the pool staring at us? Okay, so who are you? Are you trying to traffic my whole family? What is going on, right? But seriously, so he sits across the pool. Okay, now he does come across the pool at some point in time to tell John that he looks like Vin Diesel. So maybe he's just a fan of John. I mean, who would not be a fan of John? Duh, right? But no, seriously, this guy was super creepy. And so he comes across the pool, says something else, and then we basically just said to him, like, hey, listen, we don't know who you are. You need to skedaddle. Get on out of here. So he scoots on out of there, whatever. So at that point, it was kind of weird because then he started like going to different parts of the pool and he had his camera up, like taking pictures and stuff. I mean, at that point, guys, you have to like really be on the lookout nowadays, especially because of the whole trafficking deal. I mean, who knows what people, where they're doing, what their motives are, what the deal is, right? So you have to be super careful about what you're doing and what your surroundings are. So we had, I, I did, I did, I'll admit it. I did tell security, okay, that there's a guy here, and I'm pretty sure he hasn't paid for anything at the bar, and he's sitting in the pool, and he's making me feel a little uncomfortable, so I want him to leave, unless he has a room here, so they went up to him, and they were like, hey, listen, um, sir, do you have a room? No, you don't have a room, okay, so they're like, okay, well, then you need to leave the property, so he gets up and walks away, literally walks around the entire freaking pool, and he's like, literally, lo like, looking around, so... Just be aware of your surroundings, guys, because you never know exactly what's going on or what the deal is. You have to be prepared for anything, right, John? This is why we have our concealed, right? We have to be prepared. So anyways, 
Long story short, besides that, everything was absolutely amazing. We had a great weekend, so I came home to my broke-ass closet. That was absolutely amazing. Um, like I said, I didn't know whether to cry or to be mad about it. All I know is that my shit is all in a separate room at this point, and it's not where it should be. And every morning when I get up to go get all my stuff, it's everywhere, okay? So anyways, the last couple days have been some long days. I feel like I have to, had to step back into the business for specific reasons that I won't list and bore you guys with. But I do feel like I had to step back in the business for a certain thing to make sure that everything's running right, that things are smooth, patients are happy, and all that fun stuff. It's always good to step back into the business. You know, like, it's not that I ever stepped out of the business, but it's nice to always step back into the daily business for a 14 or 15 hour shift. Always fun. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a good time when you, you have a nice day and it's like a rewarding day. Like, okay, I got a lot accomplished today. I know exactly what we need to do to make things absolutely perfect around here, whatever it might be, right? And it's always a good thing. Like, you got to have that good stuff, you know? You know, as far as like when you own a business, you guys that do own businesses or have owned a business at some point in time, you guys know what it's like to have to wake up at whatever, six or seven o'clock in the morning and have like a you know, 20 hour work day or whatever the hell. Okay. So anyways, it's been really, really good. I can't complain. Um, but uh, I am going to say one thing and I hope, I wish I could tag a bunch of people in this video, but I just won't do that. Um, I think that it's really important for a lot of people to understand that, um, you know, in life, God, it's hot. This is like me being like in an aggressive mode all day. Anyways, um, in life, guys, you know, things are not given to you. Okay. And I've taught my son that. In fact, I've taught my son quite a few different things. The other day we went to the movie theater. Do you know? And he's sitting right next to me. So I am sure he can hear me through his little headset. No, it's not on. So he can hear me. So anyways. The other day we went to the movie theater. This is not that long ago. And, you know, I went to go walk out the movie theater and he opens the door. He's nine. He's almost 10. So anyways, he opens the door and he pushes the door through and he walks through it. Now, my hands are not full. I could definitely hold my own door. And to be quite honest with you, I usually hold my own door even with my husband. My husband's Greek. He's all about women. But... It's not that I try to hold my own door. It's just so natural for me to hold my own door that I don't expect for somebody to hold my door. But long story short, Peter walks to the door. So what do I do? I stop at the back of the door and I wait. And he stands there. He turns around. He's like, are you going to come? I'm like, I don't know. Are you going to open my door? I'm your mother. You're going to open my door. Okay. Open my door because you have to instill these things into your children at young ages. Like whether it's to open a door for a female, treat people with respect, whatever it might be. But these are little tiny things that you instill into your children at a very young age. You have to. Look at the society we are growing up in. These people are so jacked. Seriously, they're, they're, these children are just insane. So if you treat your children like how you grew up with some morals, then they might have a few morals too. So anyways, tell him to open my door for me. So it's, I stood at the door and I looked at him I'm like, are you gonna, are you gonna open my door? I'm like, I'm your mother, you're gonna open my door. I'm like, when you go to the movies with a female, you're gonna open their door too. Cause that's what you do, okay? So it's a good, nice lesson, okay? from my young, beautiful, handsome, Greek, baby, nine-year-old son. But I mean, he's a good kid. He really is a good kid. But you know, you have to instill these things at very young ages. I mean, even to the littlest thing, I know this sounds absolutely ridiculous, but even to the littlest thing of me walking up the stairs, you're helping me with a bag. I mean, this is what you should do for your mother. Hello, do you know what nine months is with a child? Listen, I wasn't that happy pregnant woman that was like, oh my goodness, look at me, I'm so pregnant and this is so cute, just touch my belly. I was that woman that was like, hmm, when are you gonna come out of this? Can you get out? 
sometime soon. Can you come out like right on the day you're due? And actually he did come out on the day he was due. He was due on June 18th and I went into labor at midnight on June 18th and had him on June 18th. Gotta love that, right? Can't, can't beat that. But no, seriously, guys, instill some manners in your kids. I mean, some of the times I look around and I'm like, what, where, ha, where did you grow up? And like, why have you, why is your parents not showing you how to have some sort of morals nowadays? It's, it's beyond me a little bit. So anyways, long story short, we had a wonderful weekend. My closet's still in shambles. I've had a 15 hour work day. Still wearing my sneakers. Yeah, those are Nikes. Still have them on. And um, to be quite honest with you, it's almost 11 o'clock and I probably still have quite a few different things to do. I'm okay with that though. I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna bitch about it. Cause when you bitch about it, it doesn't get you anywhere. And nobody cares. As much as somebody would like to tell you that they care, they don't. <laughs> and you know, I'll be the person to tell you. Hey, guess what? Nobody cares. Um, not to say that people don't care about you because that would be a lie, but most people don't care. They just don't, you know, they want to know about what's going on with their life and what the deal is with what you got to do on your day. Everybody has a job. Everybody has a family. Everybody has shit to do. So again, where to find sympathy? If you saw my previous soapbox, you would know exactly where to find sympathy. I won't repeat it because it's mean. So I'll just keep that out of this particular soapbox. So anyways, I am going to head out because I need to take off my Nikes, go upstairs, check my emails, and probably, I don't know, maybe make a drink or something to eat, like popcorn or something just, just to indulge myself. You know, I mean, why not? So anyways, I want to say hi to everybody and I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. And um, I'm going to leave this out with, please make sure that you don't have any self entitlement because, um, you know, nobody owes you anything. With your following, with how many people you have, how many people that like you, how many people that you have that on that are friends on your Facebook and all these things that you have, you are not entitled to anything. Earn it. Figure out how to earn it. I promise it'll get you so far in life. I pinky promise. Inbox me for details. It might take me three or four days to get back to you, but I'll eventually get back to you. Okay? Okay. See you later. Bye.